My, my point is, um, I would appreciate if people could articulate an actual reason why they think Ukraine no funding, Israel yes funding, and then Taiwan's never even mentioned. And I think there are there that you could make the argument. Like I said, like we've had a long-standing relationship with Israel to help them defend themselves from the onslaught they've been receiving from these na- neighboring nations, and it's an ongoing active conflict over what are we doing seventy some odd years? Yep. And Ukraine is the Soviet Union collapsed in the and you know beginning of the nineties. And we have no business. What's going on? Why are we there? I don't know. Yeah. And I I guess one of the frustrating parts, though, is, you know, and President Trump says it like, what do you want? What are you going to do, President Trump? I want peace. I want the killing to stop in Ukraine. That's what I want. And it feels like that's not what they want. Right. Because as Bobby Kennedy's pointed out very clearly that there was a deal on the table. Right. To broker some type of peace deal. Over and then a year that, and a half ago. And, and right. And that was completely scuttled. Um, and certainly, look, I'll take their point. Do we want Russia on the border of Poland? No, probably not. Um, but to that, <laughs> the issue of Israel is quite a bit different because we're not talking about like territorial gains. We're talking about like extermination of a country that is aligned with us as it relates to anti-terrorism activities and things like that. This, this is my question then, right? So, you know, Trump comes in, you got Ukraine, Russia, and right now there could very easily be, you keep Crimea, you've got a, you've got a naval base there in a massive industrial port. The Donbass, we're not going to let that go. The fighting stops. And then there's some concessions. Maybe Russia gets certain access via a land bridge to Crimea, but it ultimately ends the conflict. That doesn't exist with Israel. Trump, Trump comes in and says, I want the fighting to stop. They're screaming death no. to Israel. Yeah. They, the, Hamas has, uh, they removed it, but in, in their charter was the, the line from the Hadith about how they are required by their religion to kill Jews. The, the, the thing with Israel is, and it's a question I have for you guys, because I don't know that I have a good one. What do we do? You know, Clint, I, this one's free because I'm genuinely curious about the, the libertarian uh, pr- perspective on this. What should the U.S. do right now like, let's say you woke up tomorrow and they said, Clint, you are 897,426 oh, in line for the presidency. <laughs> and it's you, baby. Somehow, uh, what would you do? And, and I so, preface so this. So first, my first day on the job, I have to bring peace to the Middle East? That's right. Well, no, no, oh, no, my no. God. My, 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 my point is just, <laughs> if, you know, I look at Ukraine and, and the attitude they, they give Trump is, do you want Ukraine to win? And I'm just like, I don't care. Right. Like, if you ask if my genuine response, and when someone was like, "Do you want Russia to win or Ukraine to win?" I'd be like, I don't care. Like, well, you well, heard what but, Trump said. He wants less dead people. And that's a good answer. Yes. That's a good answer. And then I'd give a better answer than I don't care. Okay, I'm just being a kind of a dick. But with Israel, it's like, if we cut ties to Ukraine and tell them you're on your own, it's like, well, like, good luck, buddy. Yeah. If we do that for Israel, Israel ceases to exist. Like they get they get bombed into oblivion. Well, maybe. I mean, if it's true that in fact they have nuclear weapons, then they can probably defend themselves. So And then if we detach and say you're on your own and then and Iran then, has Bolan Hamas. Nuke, yeah, I don't know. And it's not this, easy. This I mean, is funny because Ben Shapiro brought this up and I think it's a terrible it's it's a real argument that's actually not a bad argument, but it's a terrible prospect. Mm. He said that if we do not provide the support to Israel and they go Samson option and launch a nuke. Like World War Three, we don't we don't want that. So it's better that the U.S. remains involved, keeps these 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 boundaries drawn. And I'm like, that's a that's a terrible prospect. It is. Well, and there's so much going. But on it's with better the than them conflict. nuking somebody. I mean, yeah. what? there's so many like regional conflicts that we're not super familiar with, with like the Sunni versus Shia. You know, yeah. all of this sort of interpersonal cultural stuff well, that we don't. Well, even real really quick, sorry guys, about. I'm just curious, Clint. Yeah. Like, if you if you could implement a policy, would it be Israel on your own, or do we go in and say we need peace? Well, I think I think at minimum there needs to be a phase out into them being their own autonomous nation that no longer takes aid from us. But I, I apply this principle to every country all over the world. 